Way that I've been living unconventional I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know Certain things just started getting tense, oh Think we need to have a sun adventure I could be a man, but maybe down the road Right now, I would rather see my heart turn to bone Rather see my heart turn crystal I can't even fun like I don't miss ya Right now I'm just stuck inside a crib on my own As soon as I free up, I'm about to pop up on your phone Like I'm outside in that AMG Right outside, PT Two times, baby girl, you know Love yours Hey y'all, I'm bring y'all down. Hey y'all, welcome back to your girl's channel. She done pooped. She had a blowout. Oh my god, y'all, I'm gonna have to change her in a minute. Okay. Well, you didn't tell me you pooped. She's so mad at me, y'all. She know I've been, I've been trying to like keep her. Not attached from me, y'all know I'm always picking her up. And she just thinks she has to be glued to me. And she, sometimes she won't even go with other people because she wants to be glued to me. I'm trying to break that habit. But good morning, good morning. I just made me breakfast. I said it right, y'all. I'm in the avocado and toast with eggs. And I'm trying turkey bacon out for the very first time. Currently 11.28. Um... We have a eventful day, not eventful, but we have a day today, um, more of a vlog. So y'all know if you haven't watched episode one, go watch episode one of this journey. I am trying to lose my mom fat. I am trying to get in shape, getting, you know, all that stuff. So this is another episode. I'm just a mom trying to stay fit. So if you haven't watched episode one, go watch it. Today's episode, I told y'all my next episode, I'm going to be meal prepping with y'all going grocery shopping with y'all um showing y'all some today i'm gonna show y'all some at-home workouts if i don't want to go to gym and some gym updates i gotta update y'all about the gym that i was going to this is just gonna be that type of video if you're not interested in it, then girl go click on something else i got other stuff other content but this is just a series that i recently started and i want to keep doing it you know you're getting freshy you're getting fussy and y'all she just ate just ate like i literally pumped oh and ever since i've been on my healthy journey i've been pumping really good because last week my supply was so down so i started drinking a lot of protein shakes i've been eating a lot of protein bars y'all know protein builds your milk supply so my milk supply has been doing really good this morning i pumped eight ounces in 30 minutes so i'm super proud of myself if y'all hear kaden he in there playing in his room he act like he's spider-man child bear with me i'm gonna try out this turkey bacon i'm hungry y'all i'm so hungry oh and then i got my um i got my cran apple this is my favorite 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 drink it's really good i like it i love this a lot of people love the other brands or whatever but let me just try my food i've been trying to go the healthier route with bacon i love bacon so i'm doing turkey bacon it's honestly not that bad it's actually pretty good turkey bacon is expensive Going the um, healthier route is expensive, child. Like, please do not expect to be paying reasonable prices because these places be taxing. They know what they be doing. They want us to get fat. They want us to be big. This is how they make money. If you keep getting big, 
you gain weight and possibly getting overweight you're going to come with health conditions that pays doctors that causes new um new medicines to be made this society is a circle of money so everybody it contributes everybody when it comes to money so you eating out of shape and getting all these type of restaurant foods you're not just benefiting the restaurants you're benefiting doctors because of health issues new new things and then this comes from the government all types of stuff y'all so be careful they want you to be fat okay my avocado toast um i loaded it up with some eggs i really can't eat how i want to because i got her but i love me some avocado toast with eggs child mm. Cause if it don't got eggs with it, I honestly won't eat it. Avocados, avocados is good when you complement it with other things. I cannot eat it by itself. Me and my mom, we're gonna go to the farmer's market. I don't know which one we're gonna go to. It's like three in our area. There's Fresh Time. I don't know if you guys have a Fresh Time, but there's Fresh Time, there's Whole Foods, and then there's Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is perfect to go through on the week, through the week. You go to Trader Joe's on the weekend, baby, you might as well just be like, go in there for one thing and come out. I cannot vlog. It'd be people all over the place. They'd be going crazy. I don't know if everybody's just doing their routine shopping or whatever on the weekend, but it's too hectic for me and I cannot. First time on the weekends do not be that bad. It'd be people, but it's not like oversaturated just because Trader Joe's is right next to it and everybody goes to Trader Joe's rather than first time. But I like peace, baby, so... First time it might be is because Whole Foods is also crazy. I would never go to Whole Foods on a weekend because they are crazy. People, you can literally be putting your produce or something in a bag and these people are all over you, tumbling over you, trying to reach for other stuff. And it's so, I, I know I cannot do re rude people. Excuse me, please, thank you. It, manners, I'm real big on manners, okay? You disrespectful, I can't do it. So I try to avoid places like that on the weekends, but it look, it's looking like fresh time because I need to get my fruits and vegetables and I re really want to try like little other things. Um, but little things like that, like knickknacks, like healthy stuff that I haven't tried before. I love going to farmer's markets because they have the best stuff. Um, yesterday I did do like a mobile order, grocery order delivered. And I got like some kale for my smoothies. I got some bananas, um, some strawberries. But I want more frozen fruit because they just last longer and they make your smoothies better, honestly. So just doing that little healthy food grocery shopping haul. And I'll come back and I'll show y'all what I got or whatever. But I'm about to eat Refix. It is 11.35. We are supposed to head out at 1 o'clock. So once I finish eating and stuff like that, I'm going to um, get the kids ready. Make sure I pump before I go because I'm going to need another bottle. Um, and yeah, and we're going to get right, right into it. But I might as well just go ahead and tell y'all what happened to the gym. Y'all, the gym we was going to was LA Fitness. And I was going to my, add my sister to my plan and everything because... As my little sister, until she get grown, I really, I feel like, you know, why not? Because I really like the gym. However, the gym is, ex that gym is expensive, y'all. Like, I didn't know it was that expensive for a family plan. And I feel bad if I could, I'll pay for it if I go by myself because it's not that bad. But it's still, like, so they want, like, first, it's, like, basically, like, rent. They want first month's rent plus last month rent. And it's just, like, what? Are y'all crazy? Like, that is crazy to me. And then you have an annual fee added on. So, it was going to be like $214 up front before we can even work out after our um, three-day pass was exhausted. So, I was just like, mmm. And it's just like, why do that when I don't even need all this equipment? I don't need to go to Zuma classes. I probably won't even show up. I don't need the cycling classes. It's cool, whatever. But I just need to get in shape. That is it who are you talking to y'all she been talking baby she been talking but i just like you know what we just gonna thug it out with planet fitness so we have yet to go so i might go this week um just because i need to get back into the gym it's been a few days now so i just want to get back to the gym um but being active every day whether i'm just walking on the treadmill doing stuff go ahead and do it because honestly it doesn't take that much and you don't need to be paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars to go to no gym unless you are a bodybuilder i just personally feel like unless you just want to be around a certain vibe then cool to each his own but right now i'm starting it off fresh i'm going to start it off 
slow and we're just gonna stick with planet fitness there's another gym in our area but i know it's not all that and it's a little up from planet fitness but i just i know it's not all that because i've been in there so we're just gonna thug it out with planet fitness it's nothing wrong with that honestly i just feel like i just need the basics and honestly i can work out at home too if it comes down to it because those those gym equipments you can do that at home all you really need is some heavy ass weights and you good the price right now is not for me i'm on a budget i'm trying to move i'm trying to do a lot of stuff so i cannot be wasting that money i could pay it but i'm not paying that for no gym best believe that i do actually need to go get me a scale and like a tape measure so hopefully i can get that today as well because i do need to get that so that way i can keep track of my measurements um and my weight and stuff like that so yeah y'all i did a lot of talking i'm gonna go ahead and finish my food and once i'm done and got myself all together i'll be right back with y'all but i'm trying to enjoy my food before it get cold child so i will hey y'all so i am inside burlington and what i'm about to do is find me a skill for my measurements i also needed to go ahead and find me some um slacks for my job interview this coming up week and i needed professional clothes so yeah then i'm gonna see if they have like a tape measure because i do need a tape measure for my tummy but I'm in Burlington. They ain't really too much got nothing. I'm buying the bathroom stuff, but you would think the bathroom stuff would have like the scales, but I cannot find it. Like, this is all the bathroom stuff bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. But I don't see. I don't see a scale. Maybe they don't have any. Maybe I have to find them somewhere else. Let me try one more place and then if it's not there, we just go on. look elsewhere. Y'all look at these glass jars, like to store stuff here. I'm gonna get like two or three. But this one's like five ninety nine. The other one's like three ninety nine, so I'm just gonna get these two. These are cute. I definitely like these. I'm by like the glass area. I'm grabbing these. I'll make sure they don't fall. Mm, oh, I'm gonna put that in there. But look what I just found. Uh -oh. Like you can put juice and stuff in here. It's ten dollars, but it's cute. There, mama. What the matter? Let me get her bottle. The teapots. I wish they had like a cute color. All right. Look at this teapot. I want to start. I'm trying to force myself to start drinking tea. But. Yeah, y'all. I need another knife set, but. Do I need one? Do I? It's looking like they don't have it. So. I'm about to find it elsewhere. But I'm definitely grabbing these. Cause I know I can do something with those. Yeah, that's really all I was gonna get. I'm gonna look at the kitchen stuff one more time just to see if I like anything. But I know that's pretty much it. Let me look at the pots again. I wanna pay for a pot and pan is the real question. I need a knife set. They have all these different knives. This is real, oops. This one's real nice. I like this one. But knives are expensive. I know that's a good penny. Like, I just know when you have cute appliances and cute utensils, you, you prefer to cook more. You need another skillet. Like, they got all these skillets. Like, I do need like a small one. This one's only $10. But I do need like a smaller skillet. Let me see. I want a cute one though. Those are all like basic. Something like this. This is cute. How much is this? This one ten dollars worth. I might actually get this. I'm gonna think about it. I don't know. What's this? 
Like they have like stuff on clearance, little containers. Ain't none of this. I don't even know why I'm over here, y'all. So yeah, y'all, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, I be needing these for like condiments for Tatum's lunch boxes. Ooh, these are cute for my table. That's not what we came here for. This look like somebody already used this. Ooh, is this a milk frog there? And it's only five dollars. But I already have one. Real cute. Cute little canister. Measuring cup. Look, I'm just trying to find something to buy at this point. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna catch at the next store. I don't know where we're gonna go after this, but they don't really have anything that I was really initially coming here for. Um I put that, I don't know, I didn't show that at first. But they got cute little food prep containers and they made, they look cute. But I already have a whole bunch. Like I'm trying not to spin, okay? I'll catch y'all at the next store. All right, y'all, I'm inside TJ well, Marshall's and I cannot find a scale. There's still no scales. So I don't know if I'm overlooking it or what, but I got this set. Y'all know what the seasonings and stuff? Only $2 dollars on clearance. It's probably because it's open, but I got some cute seasoning jars. Cannot find the scale. So we're just gonna say forget the scale at this point. But yeah, we finna go grocery shopping here right after this. On second time, that ain't the way to go. I gotta give a game proper. Spin it till she get it. Then she is, I gotta stop her. Or should I talk about a smile? Oh, what about the smile? I'm out of time. She's out the door. I gotta go for mine. Or should I talk about a smile? Oh, what about a smile? I'm out of time. She's out the door. I gotta go for mine. Cause I don't see her. I had to end up putting her in this baby carrier because she was not gonna let me be great once again. I finally arrived home. I'm gonna show you everything I got, restore or whatever. Really, I ain't getting nothing too crazy. I really like to get my like trying to try new things type of food from Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. I think they have the best selections of just new things to try. I know I love my buys. I believe that's how you say it. This is the coconut um, flavor. They have pineapple coconut, but pineapple coconut, in my opinion, tastes just like this. Like there's no difference, especially when it's cold. A few of these, um, just because I've been drinking them back to back to back and they only have 10 calories in them. Um, and they don't have a lot of sugar in it either. I think it's only one gram of sugar. Um, but yeah, these are supposed to be good for you. So I got these just to stock up on. One thing that I did get new um, that I haven't tried yet was this acai bowl. Y'all be going crazy about the acai bowls. And I know y'all be getting them. I'd be like, where do y'all be finding them from? Some of y'all buy them um, fresh at like your local whatever smoothie place. But this is the acai bowl. Um, I'm gonna try it. It's very bliss and it has acai, strawberry, banana um, blend with granola. So we're gonna see. I love strawberries. I love bananas. So hopefully this is good. Um, I think you're supposed to, it says thaw out at room temperature for 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, this just looks like it's gonna be really good and it's vegan. So a win is a win. Okay. Got some honey because I need honey for my actual like um, smoothies that I make instead of using sugar I'm going to use honey because honey is sweet and it's natural um, so I got a hundred percent pure honey then I know this is not good for me at all because I know their salsa these dress this dressing is not good um, but it tastes so good and it's the creamy salsa uh, dressing by chick-fil-a I don't care what nobody said these are so fire and I like getting my salads from chick-fil-a if y'all don't know this already but this salsa 
it's so good i got some i haven't tried these but i got some jalapeno cheddar um the ones i usually get are from um whole foods but they're pretty much the same but these are really good um i don't know about this brand but i know jalapeno cheddar brats are really good um it has nine grams of protein in them i'm looking for stuff with protein in them so i forgot to get some hot dog buns but i'm gonna do i'm gonna do another mobile order because there's some things that i forgot and then um i'm gonna show y'all tell y'all exactly why here in a second why i have to do a mobile order and then here i'm gonna actually pop this open and try it so i got the olipop and last time i got the olipop i think i got like strawberry something and it was nasty i didn't like it but this is classic root beer and it only has 35 calories in it and y'all know i'm a root beer person i have to have root beer like i'm trying to slowly slip away from it so i'm going to see if this can substitute it okay now two grams of sugar per can y'all i think i found the next best thing flavored uh i guess like those what is it called those carbon carbonated water sodas whatever the heck you want to call it because it's not really soda it's just carbonated i think that's the right word and they don't be tasting all that but this actually tastes like root beer it's just not as sugary this is probably my next best thing and it supports your digestive health all righty so i got a few of these um i also got the cream soda one which i'm not going to open it right now because i don't want to be like bloated from this but yeah i got two root beer ones and a cream soda one ice cream this ice cream is super duper good it's i don't know how to pronounce this brand but it's was well, gelato and it's the uh vanilla bean and y'all i love 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 this ice cream this ice cream is fire baby and i don't know it's i'm not really an ice cream person but i will eat this i don't know if it is it a difference between gelato and ice cream like is, is it is it made different i don't know but this is what i got this actually has ooh 260 calories but that's for two-thirds of a cup so that's not that bad it's gluten free got that bananas go through like I feel like everybody's always eating bananas. Bananas is cheap and it, it, you go through them really quick and you got to eat them fast before they start to rot. But I got some bananas because I like them in my smoothies, my um, protein shakes, and also I like to pack them in the kids' lunches. And if y'all watched my morning routine, y'all know I always give a kid, the kids, a kid, the kids, bananas in the morning that I want to try. Um, these are jalapeno lime. And um, I just want to try these. They're non-GMO made with organic organic yellow corn um 12 chips is 130 calories doesn't have a lot of protein and it has one gram but um i definitely wanted to try more like different snacks unique snacks that are healthy for you so i went ahead and got these and i love jalapeno stuff more turkey bacon and i got a different brand this time um really they should be really all the same but these are smoked sliced turkey bacon by their brand oh i got some more just because i know i'm gonna start eating my turkey bacon and i got me a smoked sausage and i just got this big one because when i make the kids breakfast or something this smoked smoked sausage cutting it up getting them with some eggs or something would be really good for them so i went ahead and got me a smoked sausage one more bag and i ended up getting me some salmon um i got me some salmon because i'm actually gonna be meal prepping with y'all tonight so i need to get this ready because um some of my meal prep i am going to cook some salmon and have it with some rice and i think i have asparagus if not i'm gonna order some tonight on the mobile order here at him and these are for like my wraps and stuff that i use but yeah y'all that is what i got from the grocery store i got those glass jars and they were only $3.99 each and I can't wait to oops, I can't wait to use these because I know I'm gonna put something in them I just don't know what yet um uh, I might end up switching this out for my flour and sugar jars so I got two two of these I think, I think the other ones oh this one got two and in here they be they be putting rice and stuff on here 
um but yeah that something's gonna go in here and i think i'm going to label them if i do i do have a cricket or a circuit or what, whatever it's called i think it's called a cricket and i'm just gonna go ahead and label them if i if i still have like the materials for it but yeah probably gonna use these and i ended up getting some dress pants because i do have an interview coming up somewhere really nice sure and i got these dress pants with this like gold buckle which is real cute it goes all the way down yes ma'am yes ma'am they're just basically classy slacks and i actually have to get some shoes I'll probably go to walmart to get some dress shoes because the ones that i wanted at marshall's is kind of like it was too pricey for something that i didn't even know if it was gonna and i'm glad i didn't get them because they would not match this um but i got these pants as well i just like how it does this little thing at the front and they were only eight dollars i thought they were really cute they're just plaid or whatever that's all i got from burlington my mom got this toy originally for tate uh kaden however he showed his butt at the store y'all so she was like no get out to the baby so he's not getting this toy even if i was to give it to him i'm not giving it to him right now because he showed his butt at the store that's why he's laying down and taking a nap right now they only got what I think I got a shirt in here. Okay, so I got a shirt and it came from Zara, but it was on clearance. And I thought this would be so cute. Um, it's so cute, y'all. And it was only what eight dollars, and it came from Zara. It was actually almost twenty dollars at Zara. But isn't this cute with like the fluff, the little ruffles? You know, that's cute. I like it. Um, what I'm going to be doing with y'all, and the reason why I have to do the mobile order. It's because I bought this. Now, it is kind of open and stuff. And I think that's why it was only $12. I'm going to open it up all the way um, just to make sure. But I did have her open it up just in case something was like... Um, what is it called? Just in case something was like spilled or something. Not... What am I talking about? Just in case something was broken. I didn't want anything to be broken. But she said if it came broken, if it gets broken or anything like that, just to return it. Um, so let me just open it to make sure. It seemed like they're okay. They're just these type of... And it comes with the rack too. Oh, snaps. But I just want to redo my seasonings and everything like that. So I was just like, why not? And they come with the little thing right here. Um... So they seem fine as I'm opening them. Nothing seems like it's shattered or anything. I believe it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it comes with 16 of them. I don't know. But I'm going to look at the labels wherever the label is at. Or does it only come with these eight? It only comes with eight seasonings. I thought this was like more in here. This is the rag here ended up being the rack that's probably it why it got returned and it doesn't even come with the labels oh yes it does the labels are right here <gasps> no uh, oh my god i think i'm gonna return this Whoever returned this finesse these people. Because it only came with eight of these. They left the blank labels and kept the labels that had the writing on it. I mean, I guess I get a rack out of it. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not even going to. You get what you pay for, child. So I guess it only comes with eight of these. I'm probably pretty sure I can buy some more of these off Amazon. But it comes with the rack. So you get what you pay for. But yeah, y'all. Basically, what I'm going to do, end up doing is um, probably, shoot, I got eight seasonings. I, was, I thought it came with like 32 jars or something. And I was going to buy extra seasonings. But I got eight seasonings, child. So what I would do with y'all is go ahead and just... Fill up the jars. I'm going to fill up those. Fill up these with y'all on camera. Put this food away. I'll be back in probably like 20 minutes. The next clip for y'all. But I'm going to be back here in a second. 
So I actually just put the seasonings in the um, containers or whatever. I just need to put the flour and the sugar in there. And then I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. And I'm going to bring them into the kitchen. I'm going to get dark, y'all. That's why I just came over here for some lighting. But I'm about to basically go ahead and finish it up and show y'all the end results of it. I had to put baby Harlem back into the baby carrier. I'm probably just gonna have to do a workout with her on me because she's not she's not budging, okay? Every time I put her down, she wakes up. I'm gonna show y'all the end results of this, put it in the kitchen, and then after I do my workout, I am cooking. And then I think I'm gonna make this a two-day series and just meal prep tomorrow because honestly, y'all, I'm exhausted. I just feel like I don't have enough energy. So this is gonna be like a two-day vlog of it. Tomorrow I'll meal prep tomorrow Sunday, so that's totally fine. That way I'm able to start it off exactly on Sunday. Either way it goes, it's still gonna get done. I'm just gonna do it another day. So y'all see that tomorrow. Right now I'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all the finished results of the um the jars, and then I'm gonna work out and then cook. Um tonight I do want to make steak and potatoes, and y'all probably like girl you're not eating as healthy as what you say there's okay it is okay to eat certain foods y'all it is okay to step out and eat certain things i am not on a diet and i want that to be very clear i'm not on a diet i'm more so just trying to eat more healthier so there's certain things that i will be able to eat here and there but not consistently if that makes sense so yes i'm gonna eat me a steak tonight I'm going to be overall eating healthy because I've been doing my protein shakes, eating my um, fruits and vegetables, eating healthier. It's just here and there I will have my, I'm not, I'm sorry, I just, I'm not one of those type of people where I'm just going to stop my favorite foods because I'm trying to get in health. Like, not, I hate to say it like that because that sounds so bad, but y'all know what I mean. Like, I'm not trying to like just be. I just I don't know I just feel like I love food too much to really completely fully neglect it now if my health was at risk hell yeah I would but my health is not at risk and I'm not overeating so I'm okay as long as I'm not overeating I'm not overdoing it I'm okay in my eyes y'all eyes might be a little different but my eyes that's why we got different vision okay yeah yeah I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then I'll be right back once it's all done no one could understand I had way too much aggression That put over the hills from my abandoned adolescence See, I done been locked through backstabbed and heartbroken I wanted to cry, but I was too afraid to open Praying one day I find a piece of mine by the ocean I spent all my time committing crimes to get closer While I'm on Alright y'all, so I just finished labeling the actual stuff So what I went ahead and did is just left the flour and the sugar because it's obviously you can tell which one is not the flour. The pancake mix and the sugar, you can tell by the texture which one is which. Until I get the labels, there's no point of me labeling them. But they look like this. So this is the um what? This is the pancake mix. This is the sugar. So they just look really cute. I think they're really cute, really adorable okay but you can obviously tell what is which one is which where my old one is i have like some old jars 
and I don't even use them anyway so I'm just gonna throw those away um, and then I went ahead and did the seasonings as well so here are some of the jars I did I went ahead and wrote on them this one just says garlic powder but these are just gonna be temporary and so I know which one is which I just want I was just being impatient and just wanted to go ahead and do it until I get my actual labels this one says Cajun seasoning um, this one says steak seasoning and I realized that I don't use a lot of seasoning like I season my food don't get me wrong but I feel like I have the basics like onion powder garlic powder cow, blah. Onion powder, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, Creole seasoning, Caribbean jerk seasoning, um, steak seasoning, stuff like that. Like, I just feel like people be ODing it when they do these because now that I'm looking at it, I don't want to go ahead and waste it. So, if I'm glad I kind of only did end up having eight because if I had more, I'll be like wasting seasoning because what's the point i think people do it only for the aesthetic at some point because i be seeing people you put nutmeg and all like i'm just like do you really use that or early or are you just using it because that's what the label says so i don't want to use i don't want to just buy something that i'm not going to use you know so these are actually ended up being perfect so i'm going to go ahead and put that in this cabinet right here and i'm going to put like the ones i still have enough of um in my little basket inside I'm gonna show y'all. I have baskets full of seasoning. This is how my seasonings used to be stored. And I think this is so like, it's convenient, but I have to like look through like what seasoning, like I can't really just know off that, okay, this is gonna be this seasoning. I have to literally like scavenger hunt in this display. And those are my main seasonings. These are really just like additional seasonings. Like this poultry seasoning, I only use around Thanksgiving for like certain things. I have sage and all that. That's just like around certain times of the year. They have like sprinkles, cinnamon and stuff in here and I don't even use that. So this is just gonna be where my extra seasonings go. Adventure, I could be a man, but maybe down the road. Right now I would rather see my heart turn to bone. Rather see my heart turn crystal. I can't even find like I don't miss you. Good morning, y'all. It's the next day, the next morning, and it's 10, 12 in the morning. I got baby Vana over here chilling, and then I'm about to go ahead and fill up my water with y'all. This is my go-to, um, 64 ounces, and sometimes I go through this like two times a day. So I got my water bottles, and I'm just gonna put some ice mountain in my, ice mountain, ice mountain best water ever i don't know about y'all what water do y'all prefer but i love me some ice mountain this morning this lovely morning i may do my at home workout or i may do it in the afternoon but i just love working out first thing in the morning because you just get it out the way you just get it out the way um today is like kind of a busy day not super busy but i'm trying to get like important things done as far as the kids doctor's appointments etc so i gotta kind of get that my priority straight first before you know that comes first before youtube so i may have to wait until later this evening to do my workout um i think today i'm just gonna do legs and glutes um just something slight because i don't want to be in pain tomorrow at all but yeah y'all so i just needed three of these I actually have an extra water bottle but i'm gonna leave it right here just in case so yeah y'all i'm going to be basically sipping on my water intake because you're going to need water throughout the day especially since i breastfeed i need to stay hydrated and i also have these protein bars that i want to try that i just bought um i'm trying to keep it for my milk supply and i'm actually about to pump some milk right now oh she just fell asleep i kind of woke her back up but um yeah y'all yeah, so i got this from target i believe yeah but i just love 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 ice mountain water like i said um today is going to be 
pretty much the last day of this vlog but i do want to go ahead and make a protein shake with y'all um i'll probably do that later on though um a protein shake i want to show y'all me meal prepping and then my at-home workout just in case the girlies out there that can't go to the gym or if it's moms out there that can't afford to go to the gym all the time or it's more convenient to do it at home i'm gonna show y'all some at home workouts um one thing about it i don't know if i ever mentioned it to y'all in the last episode but the best way to get your body out there is to do core rehab especially if you just had a baby you cannot run to the gym and doing extra hard workouts because your body is not prepared for that you will literally hurt yourself and not even just hurt yourself you would tear stuff in your body that it would never it's hard to repair that and especially if you can be hospital hospitalized through due to rushing to the gym so small cardio small um workouts here and there is going to help um build up that strength in your core especially because when you have a baby i forgot what it's called but you're basically yo know, stuff in your stomach i don't i'm not no freaking professional it comes out that's why you have like these mom mommy love handles and stuff like that because it goes out you want it to cinch in because your organs are all over the place baby so you want to do core rehab so i did research on what core rehab is doing a certain type of light core workouts so there's core workouts like people think that scrunches and sit-ups are the first thing to do no honestly i despise crunches and sit-ups only because those only work when your core has been rebuilt and repaired um that's why you do core rehab because you're trying to get ready for stuff like that um but yeah y'all i'm just gonna do legs and glutes i might do a little bit of core today but I don't want to overdo it because it is a Sunday. I actually was going to do a self-care Sunday reset video today. But I was just like, I'm always, I'm always just like working and working and working, y'all. And I've been working my butt off just because I want the consistency to pay off. Um, especially when them checks hit, baby. <laughs> but it's just certain things that I want to accomplish and want to striving because i know god said this is my year for what i want to do in life so pursue it and be consistent with it and you gonna accomplish your goals and your dreams are going to come true so this is something that i love to do y'all i love to make content for y'all i like i'm not one of these content creators that's just became that's new to the game i've been doing this for years now and i know this just took a shift in conversation but it's just something that i want to get off my chest so i'm gonna say it um i'm not one of these new content creators that joined the bag wagon just to get paid no this has been something i want to share my life especially because i have a life that is very not rare but is inspiring to others that they can to pursue the same thing i'm doing or they too can keep going keep pushing because they ha may have kids they may be a single mom etc this is something that i feel like god has wanted me to start and pursue my platform to reach out to people that may be just like me that are in need of my help or in need of motivation I never joined the bandwagon of wanting to be a content creator we didn't even call it content creator back then we we was really just called youtubers or we were called people that just share their life lifestyle um influencers or whatever you want to call it but i don't know i just feel like this platform is really changed my life and has really showed me and opened my eyes you guys that have really been here with me since i had only layla or tayden or y'all remember me being 16 17 years old on here on this platform so i'm now 23 and you guys have watched me evolve into the woman i am today i am not the same person as i was 16 17 18 19 20 21 21 was a wild year 22 i wasn't the same person last year like i have evolved and i move differently and each year i keep getting wiser and smarter and i know um so just know that y'all growing with me i'm y'all learning with me etc etc 
but yeah y'all it's 10 19 i do need to wash my dishes i'm not going to show that because that's not what this video is about um i'm going to wash my dishes and get myself together i may go ahead since she's asleep get my workout out since yeah she's knocked out I think I'm a pump for no I think I'm gonna work out just to build the milk in my boobs so we're gonna do a little workout um we're gonna go to the living room and do our work <laughs> Ended up having to grab baby Harlem. I'm so exhausted right now. My water. So I did three sets of everything as well, just to let y'all know. Um, I like to do a routine and just do it three times. Um, y'all, y'all think I'm over exaggerating, but it's really a lot. Do those. I do my pulse squats. Um, pulse squats are more efficient to me. I don't know. I just feel like. It really gets you going rather than regular squats do post squats as much as you can handle um, then I go in with like leg extension kicks butt kicks I don't know if that's what I call it um, where's your full leg and you're just basically lifting it up to scoop that booty up give you that little butt lift and then I do doggy kicks so that's when you're on the ground you're doing you know the kick same exact way but you're not extending your leg and then I like to call them get ups um, where you just basically stand up, go down, stand up, go down. I do that whole routine three times. I do each one um, like different types of reps because some I can do more of and some I cannot. So I do that three times as a set and that is my leg and butt workout for at home. But I'm trying to catch my breath. Also you have to go pee so bad but since i have her i'm gonna show you guys what i do when i have her as far as my core which are really efficient because now you have weights on you um and she is a good 10 pounds probably more the last time we went to the doctor she was 10 pounds so this is perfect to do when you have a little baby and i'm gonna go ahead and put my legs out and i'm gonna put her mm, which I just do. Hey, mama. I'm going to put her on my tummy. Like this. Hopefully, y'all can see me. And put them on your little... You put them on their stomach. Legs up. Seven eight 
Nine, ten. This is like your core workout. So it's a nice little core workout, especially when the baby is sitting here. It's like a weight. Like normally I would put a weight on my stomach, but since she's a good 10 pounds, she's the human weight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Rest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure you're squeezing your stomach too. Eight, nine, ten. Woo! Mm. So that is my little toe taps. I do three sets. That's what I just did. Um, I do them ten times. Hey, mama. I feel like she's still hungry, but she just ate a whole bottle. I think she's tired. Oh, mommy. She said, I don't want to do this with you. That was my little workout. Um, I did a little core, literally a little core. Um, mainly, I wanted to focus on my legs and my butt today. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to do more core workouts, um, core and back. But because she's woke and I feel like she wants to go to, she does want to go to sleep. She just keep getting woken up by her sleep. I'm going to go ahead and get her together. Later on this evening, I'm going to show you guys my, um, let me bring y'all closer. I'm going to show you guys my um, protein shake that I make and then I'm going to meal prep with y'all. Um, I think I just want to do three meals of meal prep because God bless the people that can meal prep for the whole week. But I just want to know that I'm able to get different things. So I don't want to be consistently eating the same thing every day. And I'll catch y'all later on this week. I completely forgot. Hold on. Let me turn this TV off. I completely forgot. I wanted to show y'all the protein bar. And I want to kind of see if it's good or not. And give y'all a little quick review on it. Okay, y'all. So I had to stop for a second and feed her. Um, well, I'm feeding her right now. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to see what it tastes like. Hopefully it's good because I'm not a fan of dark chocolate, but I do like peanut butter. This is what it looks like. Mmm. It's actually really good. Just wanted to give y'all a little quick review on this. Super, super good. I can't remember the brand name. Let me see if I can find it. Because the brand name is not on here. But later on, I'll probably show you how to package it. It's just in the kitchen. I don't feel like doing that. But yeah, y'all. I'll get this a 10 out of 10. Like, it's really good. So now I will see y'all later on in the day. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. And I know how I told y'all and lied and said, this is only going to be a two-day vlog. Baby. This is now more than a two-day vlog. Right now snowing outside as i speak and i'm just like why like living in the midwest is so bipolar because one minute is hot one minute is warm and then the next minute it's snowing it's raining it's, it's just doing too much like what is this it's monday and i know i have to drop some meal prep but bear with me y'all i'm new to this Y'all just not seeing me do this. So this is really just something I have to adjust to. But it is 10.57 in the a.m. And I am about to go ahead and meal prep now. I'm going to make my lunches. I'm going to make my dinners. That way I can have it meal prepped. Um, and I can eat what I want to eat. Okay. Now I'm just going to meal prep for myself. Myself because I feel like the kids it's a little different and i know sometimes people meal prep for different reasons mine is to basically keep track of what i'm eating um and everything like that and calories and carbs and all that stuff a lot of other people do that and they also do it for the reason because they don't have time to cook all the time they want to do it all at once warm it up and just have it i have time to cook i just don't be wanting to cook all the time but i be having time to cook it's just i'm doing it so i can keep track and um i'm not you know rushing to think about what am i going to cook for myself or whatever like that so yeah it's just convenient for me um just because i know sometimes the kids do not like to eat what i eat so it's just more convenient on both parts 
but we're gonna finish this vlog off by just finishing meal prepping um i'm gonna make some salmon um for uh I think I'm gonna do my salmon for like two meals. I'm not gonna, I think I'm just gonna stick with two meals, two lunches. So it's gonna be salmon and two with rice and asparagus. And then for lunch, I'm gonna have my um, my chicken wraps. Um, and that'll be for my lunch, probably with some fruits and vegetables in it. So I'm not gonna OD it. I'm just gonna try to slowly work my way into it because at the end of the day i do like to eat other stuff i don't want to be consistent in it and i don't want to do a whole bunch of cooking unnecessary cooking and yeah no so today we're gonna cook salmon for two days um of this week and then i'm gonna make my lunch and then i'm gonna do like my fruits and vegetables things of that sort so we are gonna go ahead and go in the kitchen and begin meal prep <laughs> like a snack or whatever like do or like a fruit bowl but baby i'm tired i'm ready to wrap this vlog up go ahead and get to editing i gotta do a lot of other things gotta fill up some sponsors so i'm just all over the place and i'm just ready to like settle in because i've been up since freaking what four or five o'clock this morning and it is noon time so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what i got what i made so for lunch i did like a green greens day i think each day i'm gonna try to eat a lot as much greens as i can um i did a spinach wrap with broccoli so here's the spinach wrap and this is the steamed broccoli um i'm trying to cut out eating broccoli with cheese because that is so unhealthy but as far as the spinach wrap this is what it looks like it comes with this is the spinach wrap then i put spinach in it and then i put um spinach um uh some turkey meat some tomatoes some avocados and then i sprinkled a little black pepper on it and that is a sandwich and i'm gonna eat it with some sauce though because in my opinion i just feel like those type of sandwiches i need with some type of sauce if it's good enough without the sauce good but if it's not i'm gonna use sauce but i'll let y'all know in probably like episode three if i liked it or not um i kind of just freehand it i don't even know how it tastes child i just freehanded some stuff and hopefully fingers crossed it tastes good then here's my dinner um i made some uh this is not the cute one but oh well this one kind of fell apart but i made some salmon with mashed i had mashed potatoes already left over from my last dinner that i made so i went ahead and used all the mashed potatoes for all three of them i made some asparagus with it and then i just had some jasmine rice and the salmon uh, the salmon how do y'all say salmon i say salmon is it salmon or salmon but um it's honey 
butter garlic salmon so yeah yeah i looked up the recipe but i kind of added my own twist to it because the person that did it didn't put enough seasoning on it so i was like i don't know about that i can't just put no just honey and garlic and then trust the process with some salt and pepper no so i put some salmon seasonings and a little bit a little bit other seasonings on it but i'm gonna let y'all know in episode three how these go if i don't like it i'm gonna switch up obviously but i am gonna try to incorporate eating everything that's why i didn't want to do too much because i don't want to waste food you know so yeah y'all that is pretty much the end of this video she would not let me be great she's sleeping this little this little carrier i'm gonna call this video this episode a wrap and i'll catch y'all in my next video i hope you guys enjoyed this one um and yeah i'll see y'all when i see y'all